Ross story and we uh, see what kind of narrative we take. I like to do landscape paintings and I do a bit of traditional, yeah, a bit of everything. Well, I actually grew up on a farm, so I'm about three miles out of Narrogin. The Narrogin is like home, um, I suppose, and it's my grandmother's country. It's not bad, it's not a bad place, it's pretty laid back. This is like any other country town, I suppose. You have your, you know, your ups and downs and stuff like that. Uh, I, I remember growing up in Narrogin, it was pretty good, you know, in town and stuff, around with all the cousins. And there's a lot of areas around Narrogin where we can go, you know. Little lookouts like Contine, and there's Fox and Glare in town, and then there's the Malleol up around town too. In the afternoon, you see the different colours in the land, especially on sunset. So, when I paint, I try and, I suppose, convey them colours, you know, the, you know, those warm purples and warm blues, especially in the summertime. When I use my bright colours, I think of Rainbow Circle because in the story, when he went around and created all the land and rivers and that, he left his colours in there. So I try and give him a feeling of that sort of thing, you know. When I was growing up, some of the places now are not there anymore, they've been cleared, you know. This is sort of like, um, I suppose, a record of the country that I grew up around and stuff, you know. Maybe that country is not there, maybe it's still in, who knows, you know. I reckon I had a good childhood, you know, I wouldn't change anything about it because I think it um, helped me grow as a person and see the world in a different light, you know. Being with the elders and just being out the bush sort of made me more feel more connected to my culture and my people and that, you know. It gave me a good grounding, you know. The kids nowadays don't sort of get out the bush much anymore, you know, like we did. Nowadays kids seem to be like hanging around town and get up to no good and the our best times when we were away from town. The further away from town we were, the happier we were. See out there, you can't get up to no good when you're out in the bush. You know, they're out there amongst it all, you know, there's a big wide world. They can see for miles, down them on the top of a hill and say, you know, that's how far your mind goes, you know, and it goes further. If one of us can sort of instill the message in Americans, you know, that's all we've got to do, I suppose. My childhood was probably one of the happiest times when I was growing up. Always remember the good things, you know. I call this one um, afternoon delight. I call it or something, you know, like that. And it was just something that came in, came up in my head, you know. Um, just sitting down one day and um, then I just got a picture of my head that it, how peaceful it was, you know. Some of the things I can still, I can still see clearly, you know. My child, I always stay close to my heart. You know? yeah, afternoon delight, they just, just everything's just cooling off and everyone's relaxed. It's been a hot day, it's been a hard day, so. Yeah, just getting the fire going and, and I always thought if only the world could be like this, you know. It just taught me so much things, you know, to value life and appreciate what's, what's there, you know.